Hello everyone, this is Kushag. Welcome to our YouTube channel Dev Town. If you like the content, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So our today's topic is meta tag and SEO, that is search engine optimization. As you know, in the previous video, we have learned about the basic structure or basic template of HTML and a bit a little short description about what is head tag and what do we put in the head tag and a little bit introduction about the meta tag so if you have not watched my previous video do go and watch it and because the previous content is required and you can't proceed without that so in today's videos we would be learning about uh, what do we put in the head tag and what the meta tag basically means in detail basically so let's start without wasting the time so let me just open one folder in the vs code let me just go yeah as you can see i have opened uh, one folder that is head tag and seo in my vs code if you don't know how to open a file and folder i have made a detailed video on this you can watch my previous video i will put the link in the description as well so let me just create one file that is index.html so i'll quickly generate the boilerplate code by using emit abbreviation so just press shift and exclamation mark you will get a suggestion that is emit abbreviation and just print enter you will get a emit abbreviation and that is your html boilerplate code will be generated so today we would be focusing mainly on this head part like what does this head means and how do we proceed and what all things do we put in the head tag and all other and in the next upcoming videos we would be talk about body in detail like in body tag what do we put and all other things so our major focus will be towards the head tag in today's video so let's start so the first three tag that are there in the head tag is meta tag uh, what does meta basically do and how it helps our website basically as you already know in the head tag we put a uh, metadata about our website so that is uh, data about our website so metadata basically helps in search engine optimization so what is search engine optimization a uh, search engine optimization is a term or is a, a particular thing that we use to increase our website search like suppose if we are uh, typing in a google that uh, i want a content related to the html so how the Google or the other search engines helps to find the content. So with the help of meta tag, basically. So we provide descriptions, we provide keywords in the head tag and that helps our browser or your search engine to display our content whenever a particular user searches for that. So that's how the search engine optimization helps. Let me just move back to the browser and show you the basic definition of the search engine optimization so this is the first link you can scroll down i will paste the link in the description as well you can check for this so as you know seo stands for search engine optimization in simple term it means the process of improving your site to increase its visibility when people search for your product or services related to your business in the google bing and any other search engine so that is what basically search engine optimization means you can look in detail about the search engine optimization how does it work i will not dive deep into this because this is not today's topic search engine optimization is a separate topic and if you do want the video on the search engine optimization do let me know in the comment section i will uh, make a proper video upon that so the first meta tag is uh, your uh, tells that it's a character set that we will be using in our website is UTF-8. As you can see, whenever I uh, click on this or you uh, the VS Code is giving me the suggestion that attributes declare the page character set encoding is UTF-8. So the character set that we would be using is UTF-8. If you want to use another character set such as Chinese and your Japanese or all other, you can use different character sets as well. So in today's video, uh, this is the default character set that is set. 
the next uh, tag that is there is for the users those who are using your internet explorer because uh, in the like to, in today's world nobody uses the internet explorer because it's the old browser and it has created a lot of problems for the uh, web developers as well uh, while in the previous years so that's why the internet explorer is extinct in today's world so but still there are some old age peoples and all other things those who do not update your browser and all other things so they still are using internet explorer so that's why this meta tag is there and the third meta tag basically tells you like uh, the viewport like uh, this is basically towards your responsive like if you are using your mobile website or your laptop screen or a desktop screen so make sure that your website is in a responsive format and uh, it adjust accordingly in the mobile in the laptop and your desktop screen so as you can see in the width it it is said that device width minus width device width basically and the initial scale is set to your 1.0 and the lastly that is there is the title that what would be your the title so let me just open this with the help of a live server just a second it's opening yeah as you can see the title is the document so if you want to change the title let me just shift back to the vs code and type it like my first website so this is the title and uh, if you just shift back as you can see the title is changed to my first website earlier it was a document and now it's get changed to my first website so if you want to change your title title would be displayed over here and you can put the title accordingly whatever you want now there are few more meta tags that we put that is your description and your keyword so what is description let me just tell you so whenever you search for a particular term or particular keyword or any other thing in the website you got you have seen that you you got a little bit description about the particular link uh, which is there so you can add this description into into your website in the head tag that is using the meta tag so this is the description as you can see i have highlighted in the screen so this is the particular description about the link that is uh, on the topic seo so if you want to add this description how do you add that so let me just tell you so you can put meta and meta that description so as you can see you have to say meta name is equals to description and content so let me just type this is the description of my first website made with the help of html so this is how you can add your description and uh, sometimes the user try to search the website with the help of a keyword like as you can see in i have searched in the google like seo so seo is a keyword so if you want your website to be get searched with a particular keyword like you want that google should display your website whenever these particular keywords are searched so how do we add that so you can add that as well with the help of meta meta and as you can see keyword and you can put any kind of a keyword say let me just add as html so if the html would be searched uh, this website would be shown so this is all about the uh, meta tag and the title tag and now i would be telling you a basic description about like how to add a javascript file or your css file so as i have uh, already informed you in the previous video if you want to add your javascript file or your css file you have to link it with your html file and you have to paste it in the head tag so let me just quickly create two files that is your index dots sorry let me just rename it as style style.css and your 
index.js so i've created two files that is style.css and index.js so if i want to link these two files with my html file how i will do it uh, for linking the css we use the link tag so let me just type the link link as you can see the vs code is already giving a suggestion if you want to link the css file just go with link css and we give two kinds of attribute in this that is your link style sheet and href tag in the href tag we basically specify our file name or your file path so when do we get to know that we have to specify the file name or we have to give a specific file so if your file is in the same folder in which your html file is then you can directly give the uh, file name but if your st uh, style sheet is in the different folder and your html file is in the different folder then you have to give a proper path so this is how you link your css file we will go into the descript uh, detailed description of what is link tag and how do we uh, what is style sheet and what this uh, rel attribute basically means uh, but in not in the today's video in the upcoming video i would be putting a detailed description on css as well so let me just move ahead and let me just quickly tell you how do we add or link your js file so for linking the js file we basically use the script tag that is your uh, uh in the script tag we uh in the src attribute we basically put the name of the file or if your uh, index.js file or your javascript file is in the different folder then we put your path part like a specific path so let me just put the index.js so this is how we basically link your javascript file so that's all for the today students do like and share my channel as well and thank you